Good evening, I'm Destiny Patterson. Thanks for watching our weekend edition of KSLA News 12. Let's get you caught up. New at 6, a Vivian man has been convicted of the killing of his girlfriend while driving impaired. 39-year-old Daniel McBride faces charges of vehicular homicide and first-degree vehicular negligent injury. That crash killed 34-year-old Sandra Martin. Evidence shows that McBride drove through a stop sign and was T-boned by a pickup truck. McBride faces up to five years in prison or a $5,000 fine. People in Louisiana have a few more hours to head out and cast their vote in today's municipal primary election. There are several big races before voters dealing with everything from law enforcement funding to picking a pair of new judges. Our Jade Myers is out at Galilee Baptist Church and she's following some of our top races. Jade, what can you tell us? Voting precincts today, both of C.E. Bird High School and here at Galilee Baptist Church. I spoke with uh, polling workers here and they told me that voting today is slow. I was told about 38 people showed up to vote at here at Galilee Baptist Church. This election is a local muni municipal primary election, meeting offices such as mayor, chief of police, councilmen, etc. would be on some ballots. Here in Louisiana, 19 parishes will have local races only on the ballot. Now that's according to the Louisiana State Secretary. Here's a look at some of the bigger races we're watching for tonight. There are a pair of judicial races, one for a seat on the Second Circuit Court of Appeal. That race is between Caddo District Court Judges Aaron Waddell Garrett and Craig Marcotte. In Bossier and Webster Parish, the district judge's seat for the 26th Judicial District Pitts attorney Doug Stinson against assistant district attorney Ali Stahl. In Caddo Parish, voters will decide on five tax proposition renewals that fund the sheriff's office. And in DeSoto Parish, three men are vying for the position of Mansfield mayor. There are also races for Mansfield aldermen in districts B, C, D, and E. And just a reminder that if you haven't voted today yet, you have until 8 p.m. tonight because that's when polls close. At Galilee Baptist Church, Jade Myers, KSLA News 12. Now, throughout the night, we'll run the results live on KSLA News 12. You can also find up-to-the-minute results in our KSLA News 12 app. But make sure that you download the app today for your mobile devices. Now we're going to send it over to our First Alert meteorologist, Jessica Moore. Jessica, it's a beautiful day to be heading outside to go to the polls. Oh, yeah, it's a perfect day to get outside. It's just gorgeous out there. Plenty of sunshine, and we're looking at very warm weather here out of our NSU Sky Camp. Uh, as you can see, we're looking at a nice and clear weather here. Blue skies out there and we'll continue to see that nice weather as we head into the evening. But I want to give you the first alert on the next thing that we're tracking this weather maker. We do have this cold front uh, cold front back here. This brown line here is that dry line, but this system is going to move into the Arco Tex and what that's going to bring is rain, thunderstorms and the potential for severe weather yet again. And already, even though we're around day uh, five days out, we do still uh, already have now a slight risk for severe weather across parts of the Arklatex. I'll show you that and a look at an early look at the timing coming up in your full forecast. But right now, here's a look at temperatures. If you're headed out the door, it is a warm 81 here in Shreveport and Mansfield. 80 degrees currently in Natchitoches. 79 in Marshall, low 70s though for Ida Bell and Dequeen. We'll go over what we can expect for Sunday and look at that threat of severe weather coming up. The Northwestern State baseball team is down in the New Orleans area, lending a helping hand following this week's tornadoes. The team took a bus to Araby to help pick up debris. Their coach says this hits close to home, though, because one of those tornado victims was actually his coach. I promise you this is going to do a lot more for them than any fastball they throw tonight or any swing and miss or, or home run they hit. Um, and I think that's that's part of our job, you know, as coaches is, is, is giving them some perspective of real life. Northwestern was already planning this trip to go down south to play the University of New Orleans. Now, if you want to help, you can contribute monetary donations with a simple text message. You can text Storm Relief to 51555 to donate, and that money will go towards efforts organized by the Salvation Army. 
In Bossier City, one woman is dead and a man is in critical condition. Officers say they found the two unresponsive in this home on Dot Avenue at Camellia Lane. They tell us the man was suffering from multiple stab wounds, but it's not been released yet how that woman died. Over in Texarkana, Texas, a 33 year old man is fighting for his life after police say he was hit by a stray bullet. The shot was fired during a shootout between two other people about 50 yards away. Police say this happened around 6 p.m. in the parking lot at the Oak Lawn Village Shopping Center Friday night. The victim was getting ice from the ice dispensing machine when he was hit. And one local business owner tells us what he saw. Um, I was opening the doors, opening for my business, and uh, we heard the, the, the shots fired. Uh, we looked up. We did see some cars scatter, go through the parking lot. I mean, I'm, on, I'm way on the other side of the of the parking lot, of almost a block away. But um, it was it was loud, um, and it was a. Uh, it was shocking. It was it wasn't expected. It isn't something that really happens here um, often in this area. Witnesses say the two suspected shooters then hopped in what was believed to be a white Ford or Mercury four door car and sped off. If you know anything, please call Texarkana Crime Stoppers. An apparent murder suicide investigation is underway in Cass County. Deputies say a 15 year old shot his mother and then turned that gun on himself. The sheriff's office says this happened Friday afternoon on Stephen Street in Marietta, Texas. They say they found the two dead after getting a call about a welfare check around 430. Crews installed the first cameras owned by the city of Shreveport for the city's real time crime center. The city chose to put them up downtown along Texas Street, and that's because someone recently kicked in the door at the Robinson Film Center. These camera systems will feed directly into the real-time crime center and support our analysts in protecting our downtown. And each box only costs us, with three cameras, $1,200. The city says they hope to install more than 100 city-owned cameras, and this is on top of the 300 cameras already used in the crime center, crime center that are owned by residents or businesses. An old school in Texarkana is getting a new lease on life. We spoke with school alumni about that change. Your name, alumni with Booker T. Washington High School in Texarkana sing the alma mater of this closed school. But now the facility gets a new lease on life. Saturday marks the grand opening of the Washington Community Development Center. And uh, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to just pick up the stick and keep it going. This school facility was constructed nearly 100 years ago as one of the first high schools in the area to serve African-American students in the Texarkana, Arkansas School District. The last graduating class was in 1969. And earlier this year, the district sold the property to the nonprofit organization we are Washington. So we're trying to spend time in giving people tools, not just rec rec not just recreation, but also education, to uh, be better prepared for the game of life. Leaders say they'll also provide space for other nonprofit organizations to set up shop. We refuse on this side of town, after we integrated in 1969, to let this school just grow up in grass. Now, Donald Nelson side. spent 18 years at Washington as a student and as a teacher. And, and that's one thing about history that's always true, is that things will always change. And so we're in the midst of one of those historical changes, but this is a good change. The new owners say the name has changed, but the legacy continues as BTW in Texarkana. So really what we're doing is we're just piggybacking on the great history of this school. Uh, this school's got an amazing tradition. Well, when we come back, we'll chat a little bit more about the severe weather threat heading to the Arquitex on Wednesday. We'll go over impacts and timing of what we know so far. And coming up, President Biden has some strong words for Russia as the war in Ukraine continues.